Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video I want to show you a very interesting uh, indicator. It's a simple indicator that everyone knows but this one will prove you that we most likely didn't even started the real bull run, the parabolic moves of Bitcoin, even though we are approaching uh, the all time high of $58,000 again. So in this simple and easy indicator that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, uh, I think that will also prove you why we are still far away from a cycle top and buying Bitcoin here at uh, below 60k is still very cheap. So we have covered several indicators in the past, also such as the stock to flow model price uh, that we are still far away from a cycle at the top. But this little indicator that everyone knows also proves you once more that we're still far away from a cycle top and uh, we should take every dip and every pullback that we are seeing during these uh, days as a very good long and buy opportunity. So before we start with the content here for Bitcoin, let's have first a look where we stopped trading here on the CMEs and also into the DXY yesterday because the CME closed here at $57,250. So wherever the price is going during the weekend for the spot market, keep in mind that most of the times on Monday, as soon as the CMEs are starting again, we're going to retrace back to this uh, price level where we closed the CMEs on Friday. And this is exactly here at 57,250. So if we are lucky, then we might get a pullback during this weekend. So if we are seeing the price dump maybe towards $52,000, Take it as a good buy and long opportunity because we are looking very bullish, my friends. And I'm expecting here big continuations to the upside, even in the immediate short term. So even in the coming week. And if we have a look here into the DXY, you can see that we stopped here at $91.60 with a sell signal in the four hour time frame. And as you can see here, we are creating lower highs and uh, lower lows, which of course is bearish for the DXY. And also here I'm expecting a continuation to the downside. This pump that we have seen yesterday was immediately sold off again. And you can see that we were uh, closing uh, this uh, candle with a big wick to the upside. And this of course is bearish. And we also got here a confirmed sell signal. So for the DXY, I'm expecting continuation to the downside in the next coming week. And if we have a look here into Nasdaq, you can see that yesterday we had exactly this bounce where we were expecting it here, uh, right at the nine uh, daily moving average here at 12,740. This uh, dip was bought back up also very quickly and Nasdaq closed here almost at $13,000. So here I'm expecting also to move sideways, maybe even uh, see a breakout to the upside. So as soon as we're going to close uh, here above the 20 daily moving average, so above $13,000, we should see continuation to the upside here also in the stock market, especially here for Nasdaq, which in my opinion is also very important for the crypto market. If the Nasdaq is healthy, if the stock market is healthy and growing, then I think this is also in favor for the crypto market. And that's why we also should have a look into that. But now let's focus here on the Bitcoin price action, my friends, because here in the four hour time frame, Yesterday, I told you also in Discord to open up a long position after we got here a buy signal in the three hour time frame. Uh, we were for many hours here long, but it looks like that we have a very strong resistance here at $57,500. And since we are entering the weekend, I told you guys to close your longs or at least put a stop loss in profits because there is a very high chance that we're just going to start to trade sideways here or maybe even see a dump uh, towards here $52,000. The next uh, support that we would have if we're going to lose here uh, this support that we have here from this ascending broadening wedge where you can also see the 20 moving average here in the four hour time frame right at 56,500 acting as a support. So if we're going to start to lose this support here, so if we're going to start to close four hour candles during this weekend below the 20 moving average and also lose here the support of $55,800 
then I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see a dump towards here these previous resistance which now should be acting as a new support we never came down to test it that's why I think it is very likely that sooner or later we have to come down to test it and then here have a successful big bounce to the upside and that's why if we're gonna see such a dump during this week and take it as a good long and buy opportunity because afterwards I'm expecting a big bounce to the upside and then of course also here continuation to the upside we are very close to a new all-time high and I think as soon as we're gonna see a new all-time high we're gonna see a lot of traders uh, closing their shorts and then potentially switching over into a long position so this will fire up here the move to the upside even more and here in the four hour in this ascending broadening wedge which usually it is a bearish pattern and the target would be down here at $52,000 it is also very likely that we're gonna stay within this pattern um, for a bit more than expected maybe also in the next coming week and uh, it looks like that within this bearish pattern we could form this ascending uh, triangle and if we do the measurement here, if we're gonna see where could be the target of a breakout, if we are able to see a breakout here from 57,500, so four hour closes above this resistance and also confirm it as a support. So not like we did over here, we broke out to the upside, but then immediately we came back down. We didn't uh, confirm it as a support. So what we want to see is a four hour close above 57,500 and then another close above to confirm that this is the new support. And then I'm expecting here an explosive move towards our target up here of around $62,000. So that would be the, um, the target here if we are able to break out successfully here to the upside. And hopefully we are getting this breakout uh, during next week and not during the weekend because as I told you my friends, what, wherever the price is going during the weekend, most of the times we, we are coming back down where the CME closed. So even if we would see $62,000 or new all-time high during the weekend, I wouldn't give that too much significance because most likely we would then see a big retracement back down uh, where we are right now. So if we're gonna see this push to the upside, it is possible, but I hope that it's gonna happen next week and not during this weekend. So if we're gonna come back down here towards $52,000, if we're gonna lose here the support, take it as a good buy and long opportunity because we are looking very bullish also here in the four hour time frame. I'm also expecting here a breakout to the upside, but since we are trading on the weekend, we have play time, everything is possible, and that's why currently I'm not entering into a trade. I will only focus on trading from Monday to Friday when the traditional markets are also opened. But if you want to take a riskier trade, then maybe already start now to go long, because if here we're gonna have a breakout to the upside, the target could be 62,000, and then of course you can make some nice gains. But keep in mind to go low leveraged in, because we could easily also drop down to $52,000, and you want to add more into your long position if we're gonna see such a dump towards these targets. So if you go with low leverage, you should be doing fine even though we are dropping here to $52,000. Then you can load up with some more longs and then once we are shooting back up here, uh, you should be sitting then in some nice profits as well. All right, my friends, and now let's go over into the daily time frame because here in the daily time frame you can see that we could get very very soon here a sell signal we are getting a bit exhausted here and this is really the only time frame currently that makes me think that we could maybe see a drop to retest the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average so here between 54,000 maybe even down here to $51,000 so that's why I'm telling you my friends if here we're gonna get a sell signal or a 9 or 20 daily moving average retest then uh, this could be the reason uh, why, because here the daily time frame is looking a bit uh, exhausted. We could see a short-lived uh, dump towards these targets and of course also this breakout to the downside from this ascending broadening wedge, but overall we should in theory then recover very fast because during an uptrend we are always respecting here the nine daily moving average as a support, latest here the 20 daily here at $51,000. And of course uh, the more days are passing the higher this moving average are also coming and uh, we can also have a quick look here into the 
uh, stochastic because here you can see that in the daily time frame we are very overbought in the stochastic and also here I'm expecting a possible retest here of the two lines of the Bollinger Bands here, the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average. So that's why, in my opinion, there is still a, a little risk that we could go down to test these uh, two important moving averages here in the next coming hours or days. But overall, latest there, I'm expecting then a big uh, bounce to the upside and of course also uh, to start uh, breaking here the Bollinger Bands to the upside and start to close four hour and daily candles above the Bollinger Bands pretty soon. Latest when we're gonna take out the all-time high here of $58,000 and now let's go over into the weekly time frame because here I just want to show you again the nine weekly moving average here at $45,000 Bitcoin is always respecting this important nine weekly moving average as a support with every pullback so we are very close to this uh, moving average. That's why I'm still expecting a huge move to the upside. And of course, also this moving average will be higher by next week. So we're gonna have to update here the nine weekly moving average by next week. And of course here also the 20 weekly moving average. This one is currently at $32,000. This is usually always the worst case scenario during a bull run where Bitcoin could fall to. So even though we could even here lose the nine weekly moving average, latest here at the 20 weekly moving average, we should have enough buying power to bring the price uh, up again. So I don't think that we will go lower than that during this bull run until we're gonna reach the next cycle top, which in my opinion will not happen anytime soon so even though we could somewhere see maybe a local top similar like in 2013 here between 80 to 100k then have a major correction back down to the 20 weekly moving average and then start the next parabolic run up to the upside towards prices way above 100k I don't think that during this uh, bull cycle we're gonna go lower than the 20 weekly moving average that's why it is very important that we update this moving average every week and now since we are here in the weekly time frame i want to show you a very simple indicator which proves you that we are about to really take off here and you should load up with bitcoin as soon as possible because you definitely don't want to miss that out with this next parabolic stage that we are entering here once we're gonna take out this old all-time high of $58,000. And this indicator is this simple stochastic RSI that we also cover in almost every of our video. Here for a very long time we didn't cover the stochastic here in the weekly time frame. And what I want to show you here is just a very simple TA Every time that the stochastic RSI went here into oversold condition in the weekly time frame, every time you can see that we had immediately a big recover as soon as this blue line crossed this red line. So as soon as we had this bullish cross, the price started to go completely parabolic to the upside. So the last time this happened here with this small rise up, you can see that this happened here right after the last correction. So after this last pullback here from 42,000 down to $28,000, you can see that within only like three weeks, we cooled off completely here the stochastic RSI. So from overbought, we came straight back down here to oversold, had a bullish cross, and then we had your continuation towards $58,000 and what we're seeing right now is again a cool off in the stochastic down to complete oversold condition. So as soon as here we're gonna get another bullish cross we're gonna see the next parabolic move to the upside which of course could take us only maybe towards $62,000 maybe $75,000 but the potential to go way way higher than that is very huge because we are very oversold here in the stochastic RSI in the weekly and every time this happened we had a massive pump in the Bitcoin price. So not only here in this last big pump that we had from 28,000 up to 58,000 we had here this bullish cross but also here right at $10,000 right after the halving you can see what happened we had a bullish cross here in the weekly stochastic RSI and then boom we started the big parabolic rise up same goes also here with this corona dump from 2020 as soon as the stochastic RSI in the weekly had a bullish cross boom we started here the parabolic rise up and the same goes also here for the bear market 
you can see that every time when we dipped here into complete oversold condition we had always a big rise up in the price so even during here the bear market and we never stayed for too long here in oversold condition. So this indicator is working more when we are in oversold condition because then usually we always see a huge pump to the upside as soon as we are touching here this oversold condition. But we can stay in overbought condition for a very long time before we're gonna start then a correction. So here, as soon as we're gonna have a bullish cross, my friends, I think this will lead again into a big parabolic rise up in the price. And that's why this 58,000 dollar is by far not the end here of this bull cycle and we're gonna see big continuations to the upside and even though we could see another pullback somewhere here at $62,000 maybe even up here at $75,000 we are still headed to the upside and we're still far away from a cycle top and that's why it is still cheap to buy bitcoin right now my friends make sure that you load it up with enough bitcoin because you definitely don't want to fomo in once we're reaching prices way above 100k and also here for the lower time frames take it as a very good long and buy opportunity if we're gonna see a drop down to 52 thousand dollar and if you don't want to wait for such a dip or you don't think that it's gonna happen then start already now to open up some longs maybe low leveraged or buy more bitcoin because even in the lower time frames it looks like that we could be in a very massive move here to the upside latest by next week if it's not happening this weekend so you can see my friends that we're still far away from a cycle top and that's why I'm still telling you buy as much Bitcoin as possible and trade as much as you can especially with long positions because like that you can also top up your hotel portfolio and once we're reaching prices way above 100k then maybe you can take out some profits to maybe buy something or just to keep some cash on the sideline to buy any kind of bigger dip or bear market that we're gonna see maybe in the future but if you're taking profits this is maybe only just to buy the dip or to be ready for a bear market so that you can accumulate even more bitcoin like that but i definitely wouldn't take any profits before we are reaching at least 100k doesn't matter when it happens maybe in the next coming weeks or months or later this year but I definitely wouldn't recommend to take profits before 100k. Even then, I think it will be still too early to take profits. I would wait for really parabolic stages way above 100k to then start to take some profits just to be ready if the price is dropping again towards 100k or maybe even down towards 60, 50,000 that you're ready to buy the dip then. But otherwise, I wouldn't definitely recommend to take profits already now before 100k just to hope that you maybe are able to buy it cheaper let's say at $38,000 or $40,000 because I don't think that this is very likely to happen here in the next coming days and weeks and that's why my friends if you want to have a stressless life and also enjoy your life without freaking out if you should buy all or sell all just accumulate as much bitcoin as you can afford until 100k and then maybe start to take some profits when we are in really parabolic stages way above 100k just to be ready to buy the dip if we're gonna enter another bear market somewhere let's say between 2022 and 2024 but otherwise just buy bitcoin and hodl because if you just buy and do anything you just keep it for a very long time you should have a very long time horizon when you're hodling bitcoin then you can make a lot of gains without doing anything so you don't have always to freak out when you should buy when you should sell at the end even if you bought in 2017 all in at the top at 20k right now you would be still sitting in huge profits without doing anything the only thing was that you should have uh, huddled through all the bear market of 2018 until 2020 and afterwards without doing anything you would now be sitting in very nice profits and this is how crypto works you just need patience my friends and of course you also have to understand what bitcoin is because like that you don't have to freak out uh, if you have to sell or not you're just gonna buy more and hodl more because like this you will profit the most 
So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel, I do daily TA videos and check out all my referral links down below here to all the recommended exchanges because with some of them you can get some really nice bonus, some extra money, you also support the channel. Also try out the Prime XPT. Here we have this special co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders and then of course Bybit and Femex where we also have this uh, special trading event going on starting on the 24th of March. If you want to join our community then check out the link down below here in the video description and of course a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat. If you want to join our community on Discord then make sure to use the official link that you find down below here in the video description. Once you clicked it you have to go here to read first and click here on thumbs up button. Like this you confirm that you are a human and not a bot then you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get access also to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin in three time frames then you have to give a little donation in order to get access to this live stream therefore you can contact me here with a private message or you get a subscription here on uh, YouTube that is also a new feature that uh, you can get now access to the live stream indicator so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>